we'll see how far I can get before my children come and be. So I'm just going to do a book. And I chose an angled one because that's a little trickier. Also, this is not a Jennifer pattern. This is from someone from the submissions. I forget where. Anyway, so the, the one thing I don't love about this is that Jennifer always starts with a big piece in the middle, which makes it a lot easier to add these end pieces. And this person did not. This is number one. <laughs> so I will just say that I'm choosing this specifically because it is harder to add um, pieces that you want to go a certain direction. So I'm going to add this stripe. And I want this stripe to be angled up and down in the book even though it's cut at an angle. So, I'm gonna set it on here exactly how I want it to go. It needs to overlap at least the quarter inch seam allowance. And then, I'm gonna turn this sucker back over. The fabric is still in the same spot. I'm gonna take my card, fold it on the seam allowance where it belongs, and then I'm gonna put this right up against where I folded and trim it off. Now I have the exact angle that I need so that this lines up correctly and you can test it. So I'm gonna line it up on the seam line, I'm gonna fold it over, ta-da, perfect. Binding a quilt. All right, so I'm gonna take that pin out now. So, ta da! Perfect! My lines go straight up and down, even though there's an angle. So, then you're just gonna carry on doing the same thing you normally do. Turn this off and I'll do the same thing when I have a really small piece of fabric um, and I know that it's gonna fit but it's funky so I will show you that in a minute it's really obvious with the long pieces all right so the next piece I have is this long narrow piece and I'm gonna I want to use this print that has little bunny rabbits and cactus and wolves it's like a desert print so I want to make sure that I'm gonna line this up with these characters. So this is a good one where you're like, well, I want it to fit exactly in there. So I'll hold it up. There's not a lot of light today because it's very overcast here in Vegas. All right. So what I'm gonna do, now that I see something that I like, and I'm just, I am not precise. This is just how I roll. I don't use templates when I paper piece. It's a waste of my time. No offense. <laughs> okay, so again, just so I can make sure that I've got it in the right place. Let's see. What do I want to put in here? make sure that you line it up so the seam allowance where you trim it won't cut off anybody. All right, so there, sorry, I'm holding it up and you can't even tell. I've got a light, a light box. Now in this case, because it's so picky, now remember you're turning the right side out because that's the side that's facing out. All right, so again, I don't know where my card went, so. So same thing, I'm going to fold it up on that edge, I'm going to add this, I'm going to add a quarter, and lob off the top. And because these sides are so persnickety, you, know, you have to take out the pins in order to actually stitch it on. But at least now I have that perfect angled seam. And I know that the side lines up really tight. 
and is a little harder when you're trying to do characters when I'm guesstimating the seam allowance. I'm gonna move it over just a little bit. Okay, let's fold that back over. Fold this over just a touch. This will work for anything. So the most important thing when you are trying to figure out the direction of the fabric, trying to make the fabric go a certain direction, and that lines up perfectly. Um, I should trim that. Anyway, um, I don't want to make this video too long. So the the best way to do it is to make sure that the right the right side of your fabric is facing onto your paper exactly the same way as the other pieces. Place it exactly how you want it on the paper. And then you're just folding on the seam. You're using your add a quarter so that you have the seam allowance built in. Trim it off, flip it, do a little check, and then stitch it on. And I'm telling you, every time, perfect. Have a sewing.